Just another day in class when three songs were shown by Miss Osier. She laid a task in front of us, actually more like a dare. It was a challenge for I do the songs that she had shared, and although they were good, we definitely weren't scared. Because my toast has never been told like this. Prepare to be mind blown from here. Four's age is a star with prophagia. Chromosomes shrink and become seen from a microscope and start to seem like long twine threads and suddenly become shorter and thicker. Listen up, this is important. The chromosomes began to break free and each one consists of two chromatids, you see. The ones joined at the centromere sisters, kind of like family. Then near the end, the nucleolus decides to leave the scene and the nuclear membrane breaks down piece by piece and the cytoplasm spindle fibers form from centriole to centriole to create the axes. Now we move to step 2. Metaphase begins when the nuclear membrane is gone and the chromosomes are free. Cool? The chromosomes just look like an X, then decide to move inside a Jingle Bell sleigh. Oh wait, this isn't a Christmas song, dude. But seriously, Merry Christmas. The chromosomes are just chilling in the midline when the spindle fibers attach to the centromeres this time, and there are 46 centromeres in total, but that's fine, and each are attached to two sister chromatids. That's crazy, right? Anaphase initiates when the centromeres divide, converting each sister chromatid into a chromosome which derive into objects that are genetically and structurally identical as from the spindle phi, where it's attached to the centromeres shortening the chromosome's mind, right to opposite parts of the cell, let's call them sides. The centromere moves first and the chromosome arms trail behind. Fun fact about anaphase, it's the shortest stage of mind, ptosis. Let's begin telophase, the final stage of the course. Telophase starts as the chromosome reaches the opposite poles. The spindle fibers break down into subunits which are stored in the cytoplasm or cytoskeleton they can incorporate. Arrayed as the new nuclear membrane is formed, inside the nucleus chromatin can be dispersed when the chromosomes are uncoiled. Now it's time for cytokinesis and we're almost done, so let's talk about the formation of something called a cell for a row. It appears at the equator and tightens until the cell divides. Whoa. Then it all begins again with and starts the G1 after division. The cytoplasmic components are synthesized and the cell pretty much doubles in size. Then comes the S phase and when a duplicate copy of each chromosome is made, and the DNA even replicates. Next comes G2 when the mitochondria divide and the precursors of spindle fibers are synthesized. Seriously, come on.